Έγινε ο κόσμο μια μεγάλη φυλακή. Και εγώ ψάχνω έναν τρόπο τα δεσμά να σπάσω. Έχω ένα μέρο που με περιμένει εκεί. Σε μια πολύ ψηλή κορφή πρέπει να φτάσω. Γι' αυτά πλέονω ξανά πολύ ψηλά τα δυο μου χέρια. Για να κλέψω λίγο πώ από τα λάπερα αστέρια. Δεν αντέχω εδώ κάτω και κοντεύει να με πλήξει. Τον ανθρώπων η μιζέρια τόσο όσο και κλείψει. Δεν αντέχω άλλο κι όλοι αυτοί δεν μου ταιριάξαν. Πήρα τ' άλλο μόνο πάτη και όχι αυτό που μου χαράξαν. Ήταν δύσβατο σκληρό και με παγίδε πολλέ. Αγάπε κάρτε και φίλοι φαρμάκερε οκέ. Είχε τέρατα με παράξενε στολέ. Που παράμονε βαρβάδονται κρυφά με στι σκιέ. Μη κοντό στα δει να πρόκειται να ακολουθήσει. Τα δόντια σφίξε γερά και μη δακρύσει. Εγώ το φίγα και το έφτασα στο τέρμα. Και όπω γράφουν στα βιβλία, οι παλιοί σοφοί όταν θα φτάσει. Ο ήλιο στο τελευταίο γέρμα θα βάλουν φωτιά από ψηλά οι αετοί. Για σου με πρόδωσαν με πίσω μαχαιριέ. Θέλω να ξέρουν ότι. Και για αυτέ τι αγάπε τι παλιέ θέλω να ξέρουν ότι. Ποιοι μα φίλησαν με πυρήνα δε μάθαιρο να ξέρουν ότι. Σιγάνι φωτιτού. Να φτιούν ένα βεβρού στην κόρη την ψηλά του περιμένω και. Σιγάνι φωτιτού. Μου είπα να μην κάνω όνειρα τρελά. Να μην τολμήσω να κοιτάξω τα αστέρια. Μα εγώ ποτέ μου δεν του πήρα σοβαρά. Πήρα τον κόσμο ολοκληρό στα δυο μου χέρια. Θέλουνε τώρα να μου φτιάξουν μια φωτιά. Που έχει πάνω τη στο φόβο την ασχήμια και ένα κλάμα γοερό και μια λυσίδα βαριά. Κουβαλάει την κατάρα των θεών και την πλασφήμια. Δεν θα δακρύσω μάτε και θα φοβηθώ. Δεν θα αφήσω να μου κλέψουν τα όνειρά μου ελεύθερα ψηλά. Πολύ ψηλά πετώ. Κι όλοι ζηλεύουν τα περίπανα καθέ με τα φτερά μου. Και περιμένω κι άλλα αδέρφια για να βγουν. Σ' αυτή την κορυφή που όλου περιμένει αρκεί. Να μην δακρύσουν και να μην φοβηθούν. Σ' αυτή την έξυπνη απάτη την καλωστημένη. Για σου με πρόδωσαν με πίσω μαχαιριέ. Θέλω να ξέρουν ότι. Σιγάνι κάτσου. Και για αυτέ τι αγάπε τι παλιέ θέλω να ξέρουν ότι. Σιγάνι κάτσου. Ποιο τη μα φίλησε αν με πήρε να δεσμά. Θέλω να ξέρουν ότι. Σιγάνι φοβηθού. Να φτούνε να με βρουν στην κόρη την ψηλά του. Περιμένω και. Για σου με πρόδωσαν με πίσω μαχαιριέ. Θέλω να ξέρουν ότι. Σιγάνι κάτσου. Και για αυτέ τι αγάπε τι παλιέ θέλω να ξέρουν ότι. Ποιος είμαι φίλης αν δεν πήρει να δες μάθαιρο να ξέρουν ότι Σιγάνι φορητού Να φτούν ένα με προυστικό ή την ψηλά τους περιμένω και Μουαμ μα 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 I finally feel very good I feel fantastic Spontastic Ha 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 <laughs> I've been ill the last two weeks and well let's just say last week wasn't pretty you know people are always surprising to me I mean very surprising oh the American sniper was found guilty Ooh -ah. and um gosh I can't wait to do this show can't wait can't tell you how happy I am but Let's listen to this. I can't say the N word, so let's go there. Just a, a short part of it. Because uh, I think yeah. it's this funny. This is Jeff Grant and I'm Daniel Howard. Uh, uh huh. But when we perform together, we're known as Jeffrey and Ivory. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, yeah, this is a duet we wrote. This is a song about being white. <laughs> Because I was born white, life is pretty great. I don't have to deal with some of the challenges other people deal with every day. I can go and live and work wherever I please with less chance of people having prejudice towards me. And while it seems I won the genetic lottery by being born this way, there is still one thing that I must never ever say. This taboo word for whites you might figure the word that I must never, ever, be? ever say is nigga. <laughs> I can't say nigga. <laughs> Even if it's my birthday, I can't Get my Food Network show taken away. I 
can't say, nigga. <laughs> Even if I'm quoting the movie Jayco and Chain. I can't say, nigga. Unless I want to shorten my life expectancy. I can't say, nigga. That's just so wrong. Even though All right. Well. You know, Goofy Bone has his trolley for make-believe land. I decided I'm going to use the magic weed bus. You know, the school bus. Uh, it's a series of scholastic books based on Mrs. Frizzle, the teacher with the red hair. I have red hair. But anyway, so we're going to take the magic school bus. I'm going to let you listen to just a portion of it. And then go on with what I really wanted to say. I think it's funny. Have you guys heard this? Hey, give me five guys. That kid's back. Hi, Ralphie. Hey, psych. Whoa, you caught me, Ralphie. Oh, I have a private and powerful passion for busking. Is it just me? What does this say? This way in. It's a shortcut. Get it? Shortcut? <laughs> Carlos. Oh, I knew if you put your fins together, you'd fish out the truth. All right. Fishing accomplished. No, get the camera! <laughs> Carlos! Ask, oh, my seat grow nearly everywhere. Cool, but I'd rather find one on your seat than my seat. You fucking what, mate? I'm getting tired of your fucking shit, Carlos. <laughs> oh my gosh. Life is good. Let me end it there. Oh, it ended. That was perfect. I didn't realize it. It's just a little sampling. So I see Bastard is in the chat and Barco and Andrew, thank you for being here. Um, I've been pretty ill a lot lately and I, I'm still stopped up so I probably don't even sound like myself because I, I had these headphones on and I, I feel like I, I've been a chain smoker for 14 years or something like that. You know, smoking is so bad for your skin and your voice and... Now, apparently for some people's personality, but hey, you know, I can't really talk that much, can I? So, I've been in the halls of Spreaker. I keep on hearing this sound. You know, this running sound. You know, I'm hearing this. I don't know why everybody's so mad. I've been gone for like two, eight days. It's been... How long since my last show? I mean, some people are pissed off in my movement. It's imploding here and there. And I come back here, and you guys are going crazy. But it's a good kind of crazy. You know, yes, there's some anger. Some blood has been spilt. But it's all good. Because we're all united, right? We're all united. <laughs> and then I heard this. You guys killed off another host. Oh my lord. It was bad. There was silicone everywhere. Someone stomped on the torso. Really bad. There is a wig torn apart. Fake nails, or I don't think this person wore fake nails, but somebody's fake nails are on the ground. I, I, don't, I don't know what you guys have been back up to. Well, it's just crazy. I think she's dead now. I really do. Matter of fact, I see them loading up her her carcass they're putting it on a ship windy
very windy. I see someone's using a bow and arrow. There's a couple of them. They're lighting the arrows. Oh my goodness. They're shooting off the arrows. They're landing in the ship with the carcasses. I probably should have taps loaded up, but I'm sorry, I don't. These are just some effects that I had. So you guys have been busy. Oh, there's people chatting in the chat room. Let's take a look. I just want to have some fun tonight and go back to my movement in a day or two. Where I can tell them to go take a fucking leap, you know? <laughs> All right. Um, there are a few things I want to play. Let me go ahead and get rid of these sound effects. Let's see if I have that narcissistic thing. And I have a piece I wrote a couple of days ago, but I was really too... I, I do a lot of writing. And this one I wanted to, to recite, to tell you about. And I think you'll like it. I think you'll find it somewhat entertaining. And I think it's a good explanation. You know, I, I thought about this topic for some time. The N-word, you know. Let's see here. There it is. There. And there. Now, I want to go over some basic facts. Now, I played this clip before, and it's about the female narcissist. That's what I mean by the N-word. I was just having a little fun earlier, because I kind of like those clips. I hope you don't mind. Well, let's listen to this, because I think it really talks about the host that's been the new outcast in Spreakerland. So, let's listen to it. Why, hello. I'm Super Narc coming to you from my intergalactic mental headquarters. You infidels, been wanting to know the ins and outs of Super Narc. So I thought, I would reveal my secret powers to the world. I have the power to make you care, then destroy your life in a flash. I can cripple a soul in a few seconds. I can flush away all traces of my evil deeds. And lie to your face, and blame you for everything. I have the power for never being at fault. When I'm accused of something I can use my superpowers, to transfer the blame to another. I can mirror your behavior and see through your armor. I can erase all hopes and dreams from your life, I can lie to the police with a smile on my face or tear in my eye, I can make you wish you never met me. I can take your worst nightmares, and use them, I can stick my straw in you. And suck away all your life force, like a Capri Sun fruit drink. And toss you away like one too. I have the power to never feel sorry, or show you any support. I will play dumb in front of you. And insult your intelligence, while laughing the entire time. You fall for my scams. I have the power to have intercourse, with no desire, lust, passion, or any emotion whatsoever, for I'm super narc. Did I hurt your feelings? Well don't bother me with it. As I have no understanding for your cause. I can punch you, hit you, yell at you, bite you, slap you, run your life with my super great powers. I am not from your planet. I am from the planet Narc. Where all we Narcs live miserable, unfortunate victim lives. I was sent to Earth to destroy all hope for life, and to rip apart your sense of self-worth. I can leave you in despair, and never care, ha ha for I am super Narc. I don't have sympathy, cause I am too busy not listening to my super hearing, and ironing my cape. I come across as spoiled but there's more. I don't quit. I go until you beg, and I give you the final blow. I wear masks to lie to everybody. I have no conscience for right and wrong. I do not really even have time to do this interview. But I thought you infidels needed a reminder of who's in control. Do not approach me on my behavior, as I will remind you why you need me. And make you feel like life cannot exist for you without me. Try leaving me and I will hunt you down and stalk you like you only seen on crime television shows. I will use the relationship as a weapon, I have the power, to cry at will. In short I have powers to con, deceive and manipulate, always saying it is your fault. Do not try and take away the attention you give me, or you will be sorry. No matter what you do I will always know someone, who can do it better than you. I can use my powers of put downs, and abuse, to make you feel two feet tall. And all while, I want to give you a hug, 
and suck the life force right out of you. Do not try to make me see reason. If you don't wish to be destroyed, by my venom dripping tongue, and laser beam eyes, bye for now. All right, that to me that describes someone on a host on Spreaker. Why did it just click off? Okay, I got it. Anyway, I had been back on BTR and I haven't been on here that much. And well, I'm not gonna go there. Hold on, I have the song that we used to. I think this is the song that we sang. And of course, I forgot to load it up. Great. Fabulous. Oh, yeah. It's a Get Well Soon song. <laughs> Witches, witches, rest no more. Um, I know someone else is listening in the chat room. And if this is the song that we chanted to back in the day on Talk Show when we were just goofing around and this um, narcissistic host made it sound like, and they did a... A chant. They did a spell. They talked five hours about me. I mean, come on, bitch, you know. But this was a funny song, if this is the right one. Let me see. It's got a slow beginning. This isn't it, is it? Oh, it's loud. Come on, it can't be that long of an intro. They want you to oh god, this is so not it. Oh, that's embarrassing. Okay, well for the queen, I'm going to play a short version of this one. Because I know she likes it a lot. And I think we're very united, you know, to get back on content. I'll get back on my vaccines. and Oh my god, you don't know how tired I am about it. You know, I'm just talking for real here. They make you guys look sane, my movement. I'm just, oh, oh man. Now I remember why I got so burnt out. Anyway, this is called Tribes by Teddy Redson. He's pretty cool. So I want to do this in honor of our queen because she likes it and I like it. And it's a, um, a uniting song. And then I promise I'm going to get to the piece that I wrote. You'll like it. Yes, I hope you will. All genres. Choctaw, Cherokee, Chickasaw, Seminole, East Coast, West Coast, let's ride. All tribes, worldwide, creep. Choctaw, Cherokee, Chickasaw, Seminole, East Coast, West Coast, let's ride. All tribes, worldwide, tribal, survival, survive, five, yo, a Cherokee revival. Send your arrival, power with your rival, get on arrival, yo. Go ahead and cut that off. 
So that was Tribes by Teddy Redson. And it's a very unifying song. And I feel like there's a change in the air. There's something different, you know. You know, suddenly, except for Guy Shea's room in the, the Spreaker campus, everything's smoke-free. You know, the evil witch is dead, like at Alan's podcast earlier. Good song. I don't know if Todd's going to do a podcast about this. I, you know, kind of hoping he does and bring back some of the good moments from Talk Shoe. And when we were just talking and venting and, you know, just waiting for this night to happen. Or the other night, rather. And I, too, like the others. And, you know, like the Queen, you know, very rarely had she addressed this issue because it does not help to address this issue. It just does not help. And I'll explain why in a few minutes. You know, we can be happy and supportive of each other and all that good stuff. And, I mean, I'll understand if you don't want to listen to my show because I usually talk about vaccines. And that is not entertaining. I ask you, try to make vaccines entertaining. I ask you, just try it. You know, I've tried and just, oh my gosh. I've done well, but you just can't keep up three hours every day of doing that, so. And then plus, well, looking at the chat. Well, cool. Anyway, I wanted to go down memory lane a little bit, play a few freakouts, and, you know, here's a conversation that I was involved in at one time about this person I didn't realize they were recording the conversation and I found this funny by the way the way it was doctored up and this is doctored up it, it is funny though yeah not take shit to the next next level take it to the next level well like I said no evidence boys no evidence when she said something on fire oh bird I said uh, I think she is nervous. Everything Maybe. burns. Well, eventually everything does, so. But I think she's doing herself in. I mean, she's done the, a pretty good job of that herself. I guess don't, you, you, don't you guys agree? Yeah. 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 Guess who reported the DA of uh, Vince cheating people after mo out of money after their bonds were over? Yeah. Oh, uh, his, his, uh, his screen age rhymes with the uh, fire shit. Mm hmm. I still have a tip for like, the Dallas County PD about all our drugs. Like, they have this thing you have to, like, fill in with, like, the narc, the narc guys, like the, uh, mm -hmm. like, the narcotics agents there. And, like, they have you call in, and, like, you gotta, like, report, like, all the vehicles, whether or not, like, what kind of weapons they have at the house, do they have a dog, like, all this shit. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like, everybody just filled out, like, all these reports on it. So funny. So you gotta, like, knock her off, you wanna, like, you wanna, like, you wanna hit number four hit, man? You're never gonna get me to say anything. We're not gonna snitch, you wanna kill Debbie Daly? Yeah, snitches get stitched. I will be very snitches much relieved stitches. when she dies. I will be relieved, that's the truth. Snitches get stitched. Cool. Stitches. Let's do it. Alright, we're gonna hook you up with the hit, man. I'll do it by You don't you. have to hook me up with anybody. So you can kill Debbie Daly. That tough girl, I'll, do, I'll save you the money, I'll do it myself. And I'll, real, I'll wear really Like tight. I said before. You just find someone that's crazier than her. I'm pretty crazy. I could do it. You whisper a few, <laughs> few words into their ears, and then they take care of the problem for you. Yeah, then they, then they kill Debbie Daly. Well, I don't know Come if on. they'll kill take Debbie out. Daly. Yeah. You're winning. Take a bow. I, 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 I surrender. After all, you have got an army of people that are spending day and night not I mean, really, this bitch, all she knows to do is say, I'm a female, and then start crying. I mean, all the traits of a narcissist. Truly. Truly. So let's stay united, and I don't know if anybody wants to do their, you know, my thoughts on the matter type of show, and that's cool. But there's really no need to discuss her. We can do well enough on our own, and this is true. 
This is true. I mean, her craziness has gone on for years, decades. You know, thank God I have not been exposed to it for decades. I can say that. You know, I don't know. It's just crazy. Let's see here. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Okay. Well, I guess I should get to my little piece because I don't want to be up all night. I have to get up early in the morning. Let's see. Hmm. I really had to blow my nose. That's why I keep on saying, let's see. Because I'm thinking, should I blow my nose or should I not? See, there I just sniffed. Um, let me play this real quick and I'll be right back, okay? I promise. Oh, this is how the narcissists catch their victims. But my piece is so much better. I gotta Hi, blow my nose. I'm Dr. Sam and I want to share with you how a narcissist catches his or her victims. I'm sure you'd be interested in this topic since many of you are in a relationship, either short-term, long-term, married, dating, etc. And so the first point that I want to share with you on how a narcissist catches his or her victims is that, first of all, the narcissist is full of charm. He will charm you to death. He is the most amazing person, he or she. And what they'll do is they'll tell you what you want to hear. Everything that you want to hear, they'll tell you that. They study you, they analyze you, and they do the things that you just go crazy over and that you want to experience. And so they know that, and so they feed that back to you. Another thing is that the extreme narcissist does is that he or she will promise you the moon, and you'll say, oh my God, this is amazing. He is giving me the moon. Well. Before you get extraterrestrial on me, listen to the rest of what I'm going to say to you, okay? Now, you have desires. You and I have desires. We all have desires. We want to be appreciated. We want to be loved. We want to be uh, held, you know, uh, thanked, praised, valued. And so the narcissist knows this. And so to catch you, the narcissist will say and he will appreciate you and he will appeal to your deepest desires and yearnings. Narc the narcissists are not dumb people. They're very, very intelligent. They've studied human nature for a long time and they learned I think this guy's wrong on this. People. This Another narcissist is stupid. Is that the narcissist will stir oh, your emotions. I think I can knock it off. Inside of you. Oh, I gotta blow my nose emotions again. You feel, he'll turn them on. He knows how to find the switch that turns those good emotions on. So you have to watch out for this because you start falling for this narcissist, he will be turning on all those good, feel good emotions, okay? Uh, another aspect of what narcissists do to catch their victims is that they lie. They lie through their teeth and they can look at you so sincerely. Like they really mean it, and they really, really, really love you. But you know what? This person is lying, so be careful. Sometimes these narcissists, when they don't get what they want, they start acting like a drama queen. Ah! Like a drama queen, you know what I mean? Drama queens are notorious for creating scenes, and they, they create havoc. So the narcissist is really good at temper tantrums. Okay, that's a good point uh, to... Just in that. Now I need to play part of this clip that's coming up. So it will explain what I have to say in the piece that I wrote. All right. Because this isn't going to be more than an hour show. So let's listen to the one that Rick did. I'm just going to do a small portion. This is an educational thing so I can compare it to the piece that I wrote. I don't care. Call me a psycho. Call me uh -huh. anything you fucking want. I don't care. Yeah. <laughs> Rick did such a good job on this. Fuck you, you dead lying cunt. Uh huh. Yeah, we're always lying. Don't fuck yourself, okay? Ugh. He's so glad not to hear her name again. to kill me how about that should we look that one up debbie get help yeah debbie get help all of a sudden everybody hates my guts debbie is on crack 
Debbie is on crack. He's dead in hell. You gotta slow down. You can't kick tapes all over town. I'm waiting for the I'm a female line. And then I can cut it. Did you They're just making fun of me, so I'm just gonna sit here and listen to them. Call me a cycle to ruining my reputation. Break. She has crossed the line. She's taken it off of the internet. The internet that was life, my and line. It all goes back to her. There's yes. nothing going on between the two of us. She is an evil, jealous bitch because I stole her boyfriend named Todd Morris, and she's huh? a fat mm-hmm. I forgot that. Me. You don't know what this woman has done to me in oh, real life. Jesus. So Go fuck yourself. You beat your wife. Like her. Nick Larson here with you. Uh, I guess short answer, yes. I'm waiting for the crying you know, I'll be spell. I'll to tell you what she did, but it'll bore you to death. You're boring me right now. Jesus. She's lying, guys. Lying. I don't care. Y'all can do what you want to do. Screw it. I thought we were friends. Debbie is on crack. Where's the crying thing? Debbie is on crack. Okay, screw it. Uh, there's one clip where she goes, but I'm a female. And she starts crying, boohooing. She does this quite often. And that's what I was waiting for because I am talking about narcissism in the piece that I wrote. So why don't we just go ahead and go there. Let me check the chat real quick. I won't be able to check the chat. Oh, well, that's cool. That's cool. <sighs> okay. Let me turn this down. Do, 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 do. I just want to have fun, you know, just really a lot of fun. So let's cue the music. Can you hear the music? Okay, maybe that's good. Okay, let me get this to full page. Okay, I wrote this little piece on narcissism, you know, just some thoughts that I had, you know, some logical thoughts that I thought I could share with everyone so we can recover from this emotional time that we've had on Spreaker because people have been hurt they've been hurt for years in some cases over a decade they're not on Spreaker now you know they know better to stay away from this woman I mean you just stay away from her you know I used to call this person dumpster or dumpster juice you know you know, if you go in the dumpster, you're going to get all that dumpster filth, juice, you know, skankiness off on you. And it takes a while to clean yourself up. So if you've been in the dumpster and you have that odor, you'll know the odor. You'll know it. You can eventually clean yourself up. You can. So let's go to my piece. The narcissist has no use for the one she cannot control. Narcissists hate free spirits. The individuals who is a man or woman that is able to think critically. A man or woman who is in touch with their creative side. Basically, anyone, <clears throat> excuse me, anyone who is halfway capable a thinking and dreaming for themselves will be despised by the narcissist. Why is this? It is because of the free-spirited person presents an obstacle to the narcissist. Her insatiable desire to control all people in her circle in all of her relationships. The free spirit presents an obstacle to the narcissist. Her insatiable desire to control anybody and everybody in her circle of relationships, uh, you know, friends of hers. A so-called relationship 
That is no relationship at all. There is nothing mutual about it. It is a form of slavery. It is a master to servant. It is controller to controlee. It's not much different than a relationship between a farmer and an ox, a rancher and a horse, a machinist and his press. You are a tool to the narcissist. If you give the narcissist the control they desire, they will be more than happy to maintain a relationship with you. If you do not give the race, racist, <laughs> sorry, slip of the tongue, the narcissist in your life, the control they desire, expect to be the target of their rage. Or if you're lucky, abandonment. I say if you are lucky, I say lucky because most narcissists seek to destroy the ones they cannot control. I personally discovered that most narcissists are more than happy to maintain a phony relationship if only you will provide a single pearl or two of your own soul, flesh, or finances that they can trample on. Like the swine Jesus warned us about in Luke 7. Luke 7, verse 6. Give not that which is holy unto the dogs, neither cast your pearls before swine, lest they trample them under your feet, and turn again and rent you. That was Luke chapter 7, verse 6. Let's go on, people. Even if you decide to hand little parts of yourself to the narcissist in your life, even a pearl at a time, you will still eventually find the core of your soul trampled underfoot by the narcissist and her minions. Not that she has any anymore. But hey, even in the meantime, you could even at least pretend you're enjoying a relationship with her, right? You can pretend. And I know you have. Let me make this point clear to you. If the narcissist in your life can't control you, you mean nothing to them. They do not love you. And they do not care for you. And when I say you, I mean the real you. The things about your personality, life, and spirit that define the true you. The things that make you who you are and what you are. The narcissist could care less for those things. Care for you does not exist in the heart of the narcissist. Narcissistic love is based on the level for which they can derive use from you. Like the farmer loves his ox, the rancher loves his horse, or someone may love his new car. Most of the time, that use is a sensation of empowerment. I want you to listen to that. Most of the time, that use is a sensation of empowerment that the narcissist experiences when they believe they have exercised some power of your person, be it your perceptions, your emotions, thoughts, or your behaviors. Do not fall for this. Sometimes that use is the enhancement of the narcissist's own image for the benefit for those they are trying to impress, like a radio internet show. Much like a prop in a stage production, sometimes the usefulness they derive from you can be simple kissing of the butt or conning you out of your entire life saving. Uh, please note 33000 taken from one person and before in the past. See legal documents in Dallas. Either way, any relationship with a narcissist will always be built upon their ability to control and exploit some if not all aspects of your life. Their so-called love for you extends to what you are useful to them. Let me say that one more time. Their so-called love for you extends to what use you are to them. I want to reference 2 Peter chapter 2, verse 3. And through covetousness, 
shall they with feigned words make merchandise of you make merchandise of you is that what you want do you want to be made merchandise of is that how you see yourself mm. words are false messengers when it comes from the nar narcissist if they cannot control or exploit you you mean nothing with them and I truly mean you mean nothing to them with them through them they're definitely not your God and if you choose a God like that heaven help you that is not real love here's a warning do not make the mistake of falling <clears throat> pardon me do not make the mistake of falling for the relationship card when you decide to cut ties with the narcissist in your life no come back home statements should tug at your heartstrings I didn't mean it all those excuses an abuser makes in that honeymoon phase a narcissist is an abuser a true abuser if I've ever seen one if and when you muster the strength to sever ties with the narcissist expect a full-fledged attack on your character integrity expect a full-fledged attack on your morality character and integrity when you sever ties with a narcissist much of this will be centered on your unwillingness to enjoy yourself to a narcissist are you going to join yourself to a narcissist you'll be the one accused of a callous refusal of maintaining relations with someone so loving so kind as that narcissist in your life all the feigned and fake acts of kindness will be heaped upon you by the narcissist will be thrown back in your face by the narcissist as examples of your selfishness and your pettiness as well as the narcissist's mercy and tender heartness well I have such a big heart I did this and this for that person that, that, that's a very loose example that I just said going back to my article my piece I loosely wrote do not think for one moment that the relationship card tactic will not be used on everyone in your circle of family and friends ask around they are going to hear about your bitter and unforgiving heart while the narcissist only wanted a relationship with you all I wanted was to have a relationship and look what they did they did want to have a relationship with you a one-way playing field on their playing field alone the narcissist's way of course they are astonished this is from first Peter 4 4 they are astonished and think it very queer that you do not know or now run hand in hand with them in the same excesses of dispensation and they abuse you first Peter 4 4 if you are a free spirit if you believe that God created you to be an individual personality with unique purposes in your life if you are someone who has the capacity to think for yourself if you are any of these things you need to stop wondering why the narcissist targeted you for shame humiliation and possibly even destruction if you are fortunate stop wondering why the narcissist discarded you like yesterday's rubbish face up to the truth painful as it is that the narcissist has no use for those she cannot control and exploit now some of these verses 
I picked because I think someone well suited would like these. Now this one it says, For your maker is your husband. The Lord of hosts is his name. And the Holy One of Israel is your Redeemer. Your Redeemer. The God of the whole earth he is called. For the Lord has called you like a woman forsaken, grieved in spirit, and heart sore. Even a wife wooed and won in youth, and she is later refused and scorned, says your God is. And why do I say that? Because we can all be redeemed. Just ignore that person. They are lower than the dirt beneath your feet. For even that dirt has purpose. It holds you up. This narcissist only pulls people down into the muck and mire to destroy them. So she will feel good. Do not fall for the muck and the mire. She is lower than the dirt beneath your feet. And I care about my Spreaker community. I wrote this a few days ago when I heard slam shows. I'm sick and tired of it. You know, and I think our queen has had resolved in not attacking back. And this narcissist should be very ashamed of herself. She should just go to another platform and leave Spreaker. Truly, I say this. Wanna play a song? Gonna mute myself and play a song.
Don't do it, Barco. Don't do it. Why not? Yeah, I am. I was just reading your comments. Uh, that's like uh, telling someone to take a knife and put it to your throat and slosh it. Just don't do it. I mean, let's just kill her off. Let's just let it go. I mean, people will be so much happier without this situation. Well, I don't think she can really help herself, honestly. I think she's sick. That's the way I look at it. Because I, I had tried to reason with her a couple times and uh, no, no, that was not going to happen. So, and I've had to call the police on her. I've had to make police reports and I don't know. You know, and then that Dr. Phil thing. Oh my God. I mean, really? I mean, she really tried to get them to believe I was the stalker. And then I gave them the links to police reports. And she's like, oh, I see. You can hear her gritting her teeth. I mean, come on. Whatever. You know? I guess I could play this for you. So you can understand a little bit better. And maybe it wasn't the best piece. But it was a fun piece that I wrote. And I do feel that way. I very much feel that way. Oh, let's see here. Where did it go? Oh, there it is. Did you hear that first song by Killa? It's from um, Ukraine or someplace like that. I'm going to play this and, and then play the, the final song that I wanted to play. So, uh, this is my message to you, Barco. This. The Matrix is a system, Neo. That system is our enemy. But when you're inside, you look around, what do you see? Businessmen, teachers, lawyers, carpenters, the very minds of the people we are trying to save. But until we do, these people are still a part of that system and that makes them our enemy. You have to understand, most of these people are not ready to be unplugged. And many of them are so inert, so hopelessly dependent on the system that they will fight to protect it. Were you listening to me, Neo? Or were you looking at the woman in the red dress? I was... Look again. Who is it? This... This isn't the Matrix. No. It's another training program designed to teach you one thing. If you are not one of us, you are one of them. Έγινε ο κόσμο μια μεγάλη φυλακή. Και εγώ ψάχνω έναν τρόπο τα δεσμά να σπάσω. Έχω ένα μέρο που με περιμένει εκεί. Σε μια πολύ ψηλή κορφή πρέπει να φτάσω. Για αυτά πλέονω ξανά πολύ ψηλά τα δυο μου τέρια. Για να κλέψω λίγο φω από τα λάβερα αστέρια. Δεν αντέχω εδώ κάτω και κοντεύει να με πλήξει. Των ανθρώπων η μιζέρια τόσο όσο και κλείψει. Δεν αντέχω άλλο και όλοι αυτοί δεν μου ταιριάξαν. Πήρα τ' άλλο μόνο πάτη και όχι αυτό που μου χαράξαν. Ήταν δύσβατο σκληρό και με παγίδε πολλέ. Αγάπε κάρτε και φίλοι φαρμακερέ οχέ. Είχε τέρατα με παράξενε στολέ που παράμονε βαρβάτοτε κρυφά με στι σκιέ. Μη κοντό στα δει να πρόκειται να Ακολουθήσεις τα δόντια, σπίξε γερά και μη δακρύσεις Εγώ το φύγα και το έφτασα στο τέρμα και όπως γράφουν στα βιβλία Η παλή σοφή όταν θα φτάσει ο ήλιος στο τελευταίο γέρμα Θα βάλουνε φωτιά από ψηλά οι αετοί Για σους με πρόδωσαν με πίσω μαχαιριές θέλω να ξέρουν ότι Συγχάνει κάποιου και για αυτές τις αγάπες τις παλιές θέλω να ξέρουν ότι Συγχάνει κάποιου και όσοι μ' αφήλισαν με πύρι να δεσμά θέλω να ξέρουν ότι μου είπα να μην κάνω όνειρα τρελά Να μην τολμήσω να κοιτάξω τα αστέρια Μα εγώ ποτέ μου δεν τους πήρα σοβαρά Πήρα τον κόσμο ολοκληρό στα δυο μου χέρια Θέλουνε τώρα να μου φτιάξουν μια φοριά Που έχει πάνω τη στο φόβο την ασχήμια Και ένα κλάμα γοερό και μια λυσίδα βαριά Κουβαλάει την κατάρα των θεών και την πλασφήμια Δεν θα δακρύσω μάτε και θα φοβηθώ 
Δεν θα αφήσω να μου κλέψουν τα μοιρά μου ελεύθερα ψηλά Πολύ ψηλά πετώ Κι όλοι ζηλεύουν τα περίπανα κι αδες με τα φτερά μου Και περιμένω κι άλλα αδέρφια για να βγουν Σ' αυτή την κόρη που όλους περιμένει αρχή Να μην τα κλείσουν και να μην φοβηθούν Σ' αυτήν την έξυπνη απάτη την καλωστημένη Για σου με πρόδωσαν με πίσω μαχαιριές θέλω να ξέρουν ότι και για αυτές τις αγάπες τις παλιές θέλω να ξέρουν ότι Σιγάνη κάψου Κι όσοι μ' αφήλισαν με πύρινα δεσμά θέλω να ξέρουν ότι Σιγάνη φεύγω Να αρθούνε να με βρουν στην κόρη την ψηρά τους περιμένω και Σιγάνη φεύγω Κι όσους με πρόδωσαν με πίσω μαχαιριές θέλω να ξέρουν ότι Σιγάνη κάψου Και για αυτές τις αγάπες τις παλιές θέλω να ξέρουν ότι Σιγάνη κάψου Κι όσοι μ' αφήλισαν με πύρινα δεσμά θέλω να ξέρουν ότι Να βρουν να με βρουν στην κόρη την ψηλά τους περιμένω και, και...